Hello, here we are again for another lesson in watching for patterns. This pattern is called the capital T. And it's an easy one. The key is though to spot it, to keep an eye out for it. So let's have a look at see what I mean. In this puzzle, we have several T's and similar to the other shapes, this T can be this way, which you all recognize. It can be this way, or it can be this way, or it can be this way. So you, have, you can see it in different forms. Let's have a look at the puzzle to see what uh, format they take. In this one, it's upside down. In this one, it's a normal T. And I think there was another one somewhere. Yes, there's another one over here. This one's a sideways T. And these are really simple once you spot them. The key is to spot them. And if you miss them, don't feel bad. Just push on. There's always another possible way to go. And it's amazing the different directions you can go to solve a puzzle. So if you miss seeing something, it's not the end of the world. But as you get more difficult, it's great to be able to have these little techniques to look for. Let's take this one over here. We have once again, like in the last couple of lessons, a block where there is three empty cells. In this case, there's three empty cells across there and there's three empty cells down here. Same here. And same over here. But what I'm going to show you here is that the numbers that you put in there come from this row because these numbers, two and a six, cannot be there because they will be repeated and we can't do that. So what I'm going to show you is something that's so simple. Have a look at this row here. There's a two and a six. There's no place for them to go except in those two spots. Where do they go? Well, you can't put a two there, otherwise you'll have two twos on this. So that has to be the sixth and that has to be the two. Now you've got the same scenario as we had in the last lessons where it's so easy to work those out. Now let's look at this T here. We have a T at the top and it's, the stem is down there. So whatever is on the line here, this row, cannot be there. It has to be down in there. So it's an, a one and an eight. Now if I look along here, I don't see a one or an eight. So what it becomes is a matching pair. There you go. I can see things, other things to do, but just right now we're looking at the capital T. There's one more over here. Let's look at this one. In this one, these two numbers have to come from this and again we have a 2 and a 6. This 2 and a 6 cannot be in this block there. They have to be over here. Now if I look at this carefully, there's a 2, so that can't be a 2, so it'll be the 6, and this becomes the 2. Now once again, it's easy to work out what those three cells are, and same, in, same here. Once you start to go through the procedure, you'll come across all kinds of ways to fill in these missing numbers. Now you have the choice, as I said last time, you have a choice of either doing that first or doing it later when you've gone through all the steps that we have taught you so far. So that's it for today's lesson. Next lesson is going to be very exciting. Can't wait to show you what's coming up. Bye for now.